Okay. So, uh, as most of you know, my name is Nick Fury on Facebook. It's a pin name. Um, I don't know. Um, that's just what I do. Uh, my goal in life is to not be interrupted by my dog. Hi. Hi, Rufio. Say hi. Say hi. Get your fucking... Hi. Hi. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Fuck off for a minute. Love you. Love you. Love you. Um, I want to help change the world. Uh, I want to get, uh, all these secrets out of the government. I want all this fucking spy shit out of our nine to five lives. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised from what I've, t what I've read, what I've been told, videos I've watched, all over the fucking place. Uh, Edward Snowden talking about it. F oh my god. We're getting watched. Uh, everything we're talking about is getting read. Every video we post is getting watched. Every picture we take is getting seen. Every fucking conversation we take, Rufio. Fuck off, come on. <laughs> it, it's all just no privacy policy, policy, you know? You lie to your government, and that's considered a felony. Your government lies to you. Um, that's politics, right? It's politics. And uh, why do people get contracted to distract us. Why aren't there more people contracting people to keep America focused, okay? Where, are, there need to be more shows, more more pictures, more videos, more people fucking sponsored to change this fucking world. I mean, I'm doing that, slowly but surely. Person by person, song by song I write, page by page that I write. Uh, it's inevitable. I don't care if by the end of my life I only make it to 10,000 people's fucking ears. Okay? There are things I have just realized and no one else is realizing, you know? And it, it drives me nuts, you know? It's just like 9 to 5 is not about your job. Uh, money is not made of paper, actually. It's made of uh, cotton fibers. Steam pressed cotton, pretty much. Um, that's not a big deal. It's just hilarious whenever you get in an argument with someone and they're like, Paper money, and well, it's actually not made of paper. But that's off topic. But things need changed. And I got this idea that mankind is evolving. Not like into a fucking monkey with wings. Uh, I'm talking spiritually, mentally, emotionally, uh, a little physically. There's actually uh, scientists are finding people with quadruple strand DNA. You know what that means? This motherfucker, probably double strand DNA. Me? Okay, I'm probably like 15,000 strand DNA. But most things that we've known for ever is a, quadru or a double strand DNA. Quadruple strand DNA. The, the very genetic coding that creates your body, theirs is double. Their entire existence is double. What? What? That's a huge breakthrough in cancer. Immunities. Dude, get out of my face! <laughs> I love you. I give you attention all the time. Come on. But seriously, okay? I write pages upon pages upon pages. I give people advice 24-7. You know, not every single thing that I say sometimes uh, is beneficial. But for the most part, I would say so. I give good advice, tell people to stay positive, spiritual, I meditate. Um, I'm going to keep people happy-go-lucky. Um, I keep people motivated not to eat freaking McDonald's, fast food. That stuff's not even real food. There have been multiple people that have left that crap out for years and take pictures before and after, and it looks almost exactly the same. It's because it's not really food. If bugs don't eat your food after years of being laid out, that doesn't mean that that means it's not food maybe your dog will eat your mcdonald's because dogs aren't the smartest of creatures they're smart yes but we also feed them bullshit so a burger's gonna sound awesome bugs why the fuck would they eat that shit okay there's an ingredient in mcdonald's burgers apparently called l yeah something like that Apparently, it's the only—it's an ingredient found in only human hair and duck feathers. Only those two things. Uh, 
and the CEO of McDonald's a couple years ago. Uh, dude, I remember reading that he admitted to it being in the fucking burgers. You know, another thing that's really funny, uh, and poor p families in Japan, uh, apparently uh, they'll go to the border and they'll sell locks of hair for money. And, oh, that's just a good, nice, random thing to think about. It makes me think about McDonald's and why there's so much fucking uh, human hair slash duck feather ingredient shit in our food. But I guess that's just me. You know, if you eat more healthy fucking shit, you're going to have more natural energy. You're not going to feel crappy. You know, I ate White Castle the other night. For the first time in I don't know how long. I refuse to eat McDonald's or any fast food chain most of the time. The, m I might eat fries like once every four or five months. That's about it. Everything else, I'm eating fruit, vegetables, uh, home cooked stuff. But I, I ate a White Castle the other night and within 30 freaking minutes, my stomach felt like it was just getting ripped apart into shreds one time i gave food in the fast food industry one shot one shot and that one shot within 30 minutes ow now my point is i'm healthy uh naturally i always have a lot more energy than most people i'm pretty uppity all day long whether or not i get a million hours of sleep or fucking two which means I have a good immune system. And my metabolism is awesome. If I eat White Castle one time and this hurts, how are people getting away with eating it multiple times or eating McDonald's every day? Well, they're like, well, it doesn't hurt my stomach. Probably because your body's getting used to fucking stomach aches and headaches. And you have literally dumbed your body into this psychosis of just retardation. Literally. Okay. You got a stomach ache for, oh, surely it's not the food I'm eating? Okay, let's take some fucking medicine. Oh, I got a headache. Why? Oh, let's drink some soda and then take some more medicine. Oh, I'm fine now. And it's 9 o'clock at night. You go to sleep. You wake up. Oh, okay, let's take a shot of energy drink and have a cappuccino and go to work. You know people have died from six cups of, of coffee? Many people have died from six cups of coffee. That's a lot. People are doing this every day. People are addicted to fucking drugs that they don't even consider drugs. Caffeine is a fucking drug. MSG is a fucking drug. No. Stop being a whore. I give you sweet lovin's and cuddlin's all day. Stop it. Anyway. What I propose is someone help me find a fucking way to do something about all this shit. I'm sick of waiting on the world to change. Literally, I'm sick of it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it any fucking more. I'm sick of reading about people dying over easy the fucking cure things. Cancer? Cancer? There's been a fucking treatment for that shit since the 30s. Uh, look up uh, the Gerson miracle. G-E-R-S-O-N. Uh, a guy that had like a 99% cancer cure rate. Cure, C-U-R-E, as in, here it was, now it's gone, yeah, what the fuck, holy shit, cancer does not exist, we have no known cure, other than get off your fat ass, run a mile, stop eating fucking fast food, eat a fucking apple, drink some spring water, that's another story, water, okay, drinking purified water is not the same as drinking sp spring water, in water in general, tap water, Fluoridated, okay? Fluoride. You'll hear all of these fucking health experts argue up and down. Fluoride's fine for you. It's fine. It's good for your teeth. Okay. It's good for these bitches. Going like this. And your water supply. And all these other fucking things. Unnecessary. You don't need it. And it's not that fucking necessary to whiten your teeth in the first place. Literally. Literally. It's not. You want to whiten your teeth? Get a fucking banana peel and go like this. I don't know the freaking scientific process why, but apparently it works. My teeth? Eh, it's still a little yellowish from smoking. But I've noticed a couple shades changing over the past couple of weeks because I've been going like this with banana peels because I saw this guy named Ralph Smart. 
His, uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Infinite Waters. And he's been changing my life just about every motherfucking day. Um, but I'm tired of waiting on being allowed to see the cool technology. Being allowed to know the real stories. Being allowed to fully experience the meaning of life. You know, America is just fucking stuck in this blasé kind of materialization of just what is life. College, get married and have kids, work, buy shit, done, right? That's it. That's it. I've lived a full life. Get my 401k and just go sit. Live off retirement and live a little better than ramen noodles until I die. No. 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 There are fucking many continents over the world you know most people that die haven't ever even seen. 24,000 miles wide, the earth. 24,000 miles wide in di or in <laughs> diameter. That's the fucking word. Sorry. It's been a while since high school. I don't remember my jargon. And, and it's even it's it's even taller than it is wide. It's 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 higher than 24,000 miles. I don't remember what it is. But that's a lot of land. And for most of us to be stuck in one fucking town for most of our lives, that's ridiculous. And that's an insult to living. That's an insult to life. There's so much to do out there. There's waterfalls. There's just, there's, there's, what about Indian tribes? Have you never been interested in going to an Indian reservation and just saying, what up, bitches? Uh, I want to learn your stuff. What you do is really cool, inspiring. Uh, the way you live your life. Is a little bit more beautiful than the way I do. You live to like 90. And people where I'm from, oh, they live to the like 60 and get diabetes, cancer, or are on a million different medications from psychosis and a bunch of fucking crazy shit that they are given basically just from soda. And I drink soda. But I drink one soda. Pepsi. And you know... I contain that habit, okay? Uh, I'm a smoker, yeah, but I contain that habit. I only smoke a couple cigarettes a day. Um, I gotta say, I, 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 I don't know the real long-term effects of smoking a couple cigarettes a day, but compared to eating fucking pig slop, basically, soy burgers full of uh, filler, uh, and just preservatives and just disgusting shit. Also an ingredient that's found in Play-Doh. Smoking a couple cigarettes a day, drinking a couple, couple Pepsis a day, then drinking the rest of water, juice, and the occasional brewski, Budweiser. Mm-hmm. It's the wisest of my buddies. I, I, I've never had a big health issue. Ever. 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 It's not happened. And people actually get, become big assholes sometimes whenever I talk about it. You fucking lucky bastard. You don't have to watch what you eat. Bitch, it's because I've been watching what I've eaten my entire life. I don't overeat. I'm not greedy. I don't buy an insane amount of fatty fuck foods. You all are fucking retarded. You all have psychosis. Literally. Insanity, the very definition of doing things over and over and over, 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 and expecting a different fucking outcome. I really need to lose weight. But that McDonald's cheeseburger is so fucking good. Bitch, have you eaten an apple in the past five months? That shit's really good. And it's sweet. It's like fucking natural candy, motherfucker. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum times a million. Another cool natural thing. Uh, gardeners, botanists, herbologists, uh, people that like fucking with plants. You know all the dirt that you buy from Walmart and all these other places that's really good for your soil? Uh, it's not that expensive, so you're really not hurting your budget by buying it. But anyway, you can make your own, okay? Save your orange peels, all your fruits, your vegetables, everything that's left over from what you eat. Put it in a giant bucket with a lid so you don't smell it and go, <laughs> And then regret that decision, okay? 
mix a little bit of dirt in that, and eventually it will all break down, decompose, and just turn into dirt itself. Literally, the richest soil in the world. You can grow anything from it. Uh, yeah, I make my own soil. I have two aquariums full of dirt right over there, where I'm growing a couple mango trees. Uh, lavender, rosemary. Lavender just smells fucking good, and I want my room to randomly naturally smell good. Uh, rosemary, because apparently rosemary can increase your memory by 75% says random couple of sites on the internet and make fun of that all you want but I will trust an herb over your goddamn pharmaceutical fucking medication any day any day any day you want me to prove it you go prove it bitch I'm growing it I'm going to be living it suck my dick suck my dick sucketh my dicketh okay so, I want to change the world. Let's do that. No one else is wanting to. There's activists holding signs saying, Our country sucks. Save us. That's going nowhere. Okay? I hereby announce to the world, let me be the ambassador of Mother Nature and the logicality and rationality of people. Let me grab them and say, You're fucking retarded. And I'm sorry. But there's a cure. Eat shrooms. That's not the correct answer for a lot of people. But, for me, it was, actually. Uh, I used to be really anxious. I used to have anxiety really bad. I used to have little mini panic attacks. I used to think about shit really bad. I used to get really stressed out. I used to have separation anxiety. I used to be really bad with talking to people. I used to be very antisocial. Um, bucket load of problems. I'd go from... Yay! To, uh, in a matter of like five seconds. How'd I change that? Now I'm just happy most of the time. I'm human? Yes. Everyone gets the feels every once in a while, but I'm human. And I've learned to control myself. But how did I do that? Yes, it was a mixture of reading things and feeling things and watching documentaries and understanding people's perspectives. But what started all of that? Literally. Would you like to know what it is? Mushrooms. The things that Moses ate. The things that wrote the fucking Bible. The burning bush. A golden chariot in the sky. You know what else is a golden chariot in the sky? A fucking UFO. Back then they didn't have the complex language that we do today. What would you call a UFO if you had a really dumbed down language and didn't have a word to say UFO? We have chariots. It's gold. Golden chariot. Shrooms, bitches. They were just on shrooms, tripping balls, saw a motherfucking alien. Who knows? Who knows? But if you eat mushrooms, the only way I can describe uh, eating these shrooms, a lot of people give them bad name. <laughs> bad names. Bad name. Singular to plural. Whatever. Because they treat it like, I'm going to trip balls, man. I've had a long day at work. I'm just going to go fry, bro. I'm going to go smoke a pound of weed and get high and do nothing all day. That is counterproductive. That is not the purpose of herbs. That is not the purpose of shrooms, which is not an herb, but it's also very healthy. Not all the time. Just like marijuana. Very healthy for you. It attacks cancer cells, but all the time is unnecessary. Literally, you've felt the feeling. You're supposed to use it medicinally. If you don't have a problem, why smoke it all the time? It's like taking headache medicine to feel better with that when you're not ever having a headache. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you smoking to get high if you can get high naturally? Meditate, motherfuckers. Mm, feel that shit right there. Third eye pineal gland. Yeah. Also, fluoride closes your creativity, your pineal gland. Uh, but shrooms just... I don't know. When I took them, I just felt things click. It's like I was stuck in this box, and this was my entire fucking life for 21 years. And it was just here. This was it. This was it. Someone convinced me to eat shrooms. And this box just... <laughs> Everything started piecing together. And things that never made sense before now make complete sense, and I can apply them to real life. And I comprehend them. I could tell people and explain how that actually helped me. And... Why is there cotton in your mouth, bro? They're eating your bed again. You're an asshole. 
That's your second bed, dude. Treat your shit nicely. But anyway, enough about drugs. What else can we talk about? Politics. Look, y'all. Um, we have a government that's used to controlling shit. What would you do if every family member you had was completely rich, had never felt what it's like being poor, and just kept getting rich? Your son got rich. His son got rich. His son got rich. Your grandson is dead after you're dead. Okay? His son is now rich from all that inheritance. Rich, 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 rich. Teachings all just keep going. That's our government in a nutshell, okay? The money is just going to keep going in a circle because people are in agreement. We need a government. We can't live without money. Bitch, it costs less than $300 to make a solar generator that could almost completely eliminate your entire electric bill for the rest of your life. Thousands of dollars a year. $10,000 probably or more in 10 years for 300 fucking dollars and some maintenance over time just to make sure you, you, you didn't make something defective and you know what's even cooler for $700 or a little less you can make an even more effective version of a solar generator and com completely knock out your electric bill and you know what's cool about that the electric that you have left over that you haven't used at the end of every month you could sell back to the power companies because they are a monopoly and are required <laughs> required to buy all the power but you don't have to. That's your God-given right. You built it, so you don't have to sell it to anybody. But that's an income where it used to be a motherfucking uh, bill. Literally. Okay? $300. If I was rich, I'd go door to door to door to door to door. And give everyone a solar generator. That, that's what i do. That's what I would do. You know anyone rich? You know, they need some They need some good reasons to sp or people to sponsor. Uh, hey. Motherfucking entrepreneur living in the basement broke as hell right here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. There's a world that needs to change, okay? There's homeless people with nothing to do. And I've been homeless. I lived in a park for a couple days. Top of that, I've gone couch surfing, garage surfing, basement surfing, this, that, and that. And what I've found is... No one really gives a shit other than you. And basically I had to pick myself up and listen to people. But other than that, there are still homeless people out there. And they are stuck in a rut and don't know what to do. Thousands of them. Probably at least 20 per small town, I would have to say. Wow. Ah. Oh yeah, you ever, uh, you ever heard of nasal polyps? Let me see if you can hear it. Eh. Yeah, I just popped them anyway. Well, I got these things that grow on my nose. And they keep me from breathing most of the time. I think they're somewhere up here. They're called nasal polyps. And they're hereditary. And supposedly if you have a history of asthma. Asthma? 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 In your history uh, or genetics, then you have the likelihood of developing this shit. And it basically clogs your nasal cavity. So most of the time I sound like I am nasally and I can't talk. And it makes making music a pain in the fucking ass when you're trying to say, All right, I'm ready to lay this track down. Yo, what's up, bitch? Oh, yeah, I sound like I'm fucking getting punched in the nose. Shit, bitch. Yeah, that sucks. But, uh, so I've made over 80 songs. So, like, six or seven albums, right? So, that's a talent. Uh, I've been writing this book for fucking years. And it's only about 80 pages, but still, that's 80 pages of mind-fucking-boggling analogies and analyzations. Uh, a little more focused than this video that's all fucking over the place. But, that's because I can't really think clear-headed because of this shit keeps me from thinking because I can't breathe and um, I can spin poi while riding a ripstick uh, that's a tart back there uh, I grow plants in a fucking aquarium 
I saved doggies. I saved him. Apparently, his original owners ran him over with a Jeep and didn't know all he had was a broken leg and were going to put him out of his misery because they, they thought he was dying. So... No. That's my ninja. I'm going to save this doggy. So then I took him to a, a little animal hospital veterinary clinic thingy in Murfreesboro, Illinois. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Wow, what was that called? Saint... Saint something. If, you, if you're wondering where it was, just, just message me and I'll figure it out. I got it on Facebook. But uh, I took him there and they had his fundraiser and got his leg worked on and fixed for free. Broken leg. Right in the growth plate. Clearly broken. And this little mother licka is good now. He limps a little bit every once in a while. I think it still bothers him. But that's because it's winter and we don't get to do crap outside. But summer rolls around. Beaches. He's all over that shit. Mama's all over that dog's dome. I mean, he's a little stud muffin pimp daddy Max. Mother. <sighs> anyway, look, y'all. I want to help the world. I'm not doing very much of that in the basement. Hmm. I love my life regardless of what's happening. Uh, I'm in between trying to find a job um, and not wanting to sell my soul to a gas station. You know, I understand a job is a job, but I'm under the, impersonate, or under the impression that you're supposed to live every moment of your life to the happiest point possible, correct? How do you do that when you're supposed... When you accept the role of a job slash career that's lesser than anything that you consider perfect. No, I'm not saying I'm going to become a rich rock star overnight. No, I'm not saying I'm going to have the best thing in the world just develop by sitting. No. Being a sponge is stupid. That sucks. I'm not trying to be a sponge, but... There's no jobs out here. The only jobs that are hiring are gas stations. And that's just not the funnest, friendliest environment. I'm a happy, fucking yin-yang, peaceful motherfucker. I need to be helping people, okay? That's small. That's small. Literally, I don't care about my life, okay? I don't care about living. I don't, I don't, I'm bored with living. Literally, my life is about helping people. Not in a fucking gas station. That's not the way to go. I'm talking global. I'm talking at least... A city can change a state. A state can change a fucking nation. A nation can change a continent. A continent can change the world, okay? If I could change one city, that's awesome. If I could change a state, awesome. All of that can lead to anything, okay? A gas station's not gonna do that, okay? I need to talk to more people. I need... I need, I need a bigger reach, okay? I don't care about money. I don't care about a record deal. I don't care about a book contract. I don't care about the money. I care about giving the money away, making things that are good for the world, okay? Like making organizations or at least funding organizations that are helping put trees back in the environment, okay? If we've eliminated three-fourths of the natural rainforest in the world, that's three-fourths of the oxygen right three right uh, what else is creating the oxygen yes other plants but still three fourths of the trees in the world in natural uh natural rainforests are gone they don't exist anymore 75 percent. that's a huge chunk of oxygen less oxygen in the world less our blood cells are oxygenized I don't know the word for that but the less healthy our blood cells are the less we can grow the less amount of time we are able of living literally okay I want to fund that shit I want to start an organization there's an organization I'm pretty sure that plants a couple billion trees a year I want to start something like that or I want to go to that shit I want to help that no one teaches you this shit no one teaches you how to help the world everyone teaches you how to fucking live your life. How to do this and that. You know what? The happiest I've ever been has been helping people, okay? Maybe I am not happy playing an Xbox. 
Maybe I'm not happy just going to a movie. Maybe I don't get gladness. Maybe I don't feel a smile from just making myself happy. Maybe I don't feel good by serving someone a fucking burger at a gas station or at a fucking fast food chain when I'm highly against that shit and it would completely be against everything I talk about and stand for in the first place. That's like being a fucking Baptist and saying, it's okay to kill your mom. Feck off. Feck off. Feck off. That's the, uh, that's the fucking, no, no. I am not an egotistical, arrogant guy that is just obsessed with the idea of just grabbing the world and telling it what I know. No, I don't care if they listen or not. I at least want to try to help, literally. If Earth had, theoretically, a way to reincarnate a fucking human being, I feel like that shit, literally. I have no fucking motivation to live this normal, typical fucking human 9 to 5 bullshit. I want to be busy laughing and hugging and smiling and just hanging with people, making connections. There's no reason to spend any minute of your life doing anything other than what makes you happy. And what makes me happy? Since no one in my fucking life has ever asked me that fucking question. What makes me happy? Helping other people. How selfless of me. If there was a fucking museum where I could donate my live body to fucking save a million lives, I'd do it right now because I'm fucking bored of not doing shit. Literally. I'm sick of just... This. I'm not depressed, I'm not sad. It makes me a little angry because I know, I, I, this is a little bit of your ego, but in a good way. You know whenever someone else just can't feel or think the same way you do or and the way, the passion that you have in something, right? You believe in what you're thinking, right? He might have evidence for what he's saying, but you have passion, you have faith, you have, you have, you have that, that, that feeling in yourself. And you're like, I know I'm not wrong. That's how I am about life. That's how I am about changing the world. That's how I am about helping people. Not being a fucking slave in my own goddamn body listening to everyone else's point of view. I don't fucking care what you think. I don't care if, if it seems like I'm a fucking superioristic kind of fucking... Dude, that's above working at gas stations. You know what? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not boring. You say that's just fucking normal? Everyone has a fucking job. Yeah, sure. I would love a fucking job, not at a gas station. I want to be happy and satisfied and feel good about everything I do. Well, not everything's going to make you happy. You're fucking right. But I can choose to make everything fucking awesome. Okay? Gas station? Sure, you can make anything awesome. But that's not the best fucking place to fucking plant a tree, right? You're just really gonna go up in a corporation and fucking gas station. I'm not worried about money. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. If anyone wants to fucking continue just fucking telling me that life is about getting a job. That's not it. That's not it. Tell that to fucking worms, bitches. Okay? I, I can work hard. I was a forced firefighter. Only for fucking one fire. Yes. I was only out for 17 days. But I felt it. And I got one of the highest fucking regards and best letters of recommendation out of the entire crew. Why? Because I meant every step I took. And I had... From what I could tell, I had one of the strongest wills out there. I have one of the biggest, highest endurances I've ever fucking seen. And that's not ego. That's pride. There can be a big difference. But. It, it, can you relate to this? Is it weird how people can call you lazy because you don't want to work at a gas station? But you can go out and you can work for fucking 12 hours a day. For a year and a half straight building shit 
sweating your ass off, being sore for fucking six out of seven days of your week for a year and a half straight. But you won't get a job at a gas station that makes you lazy. That's just not fucking true, man. That's not true. It's because it's mind over matter. Money is a fucking piece of cotton, dude. It's not real. It's not real. I've been talking for 35 minutes. Whew. I gotta get the fuck off this thing. Help me get somewhere with this shit. Please. Thanks.